been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream, and I'm trying to give you an update on what's going on with the truck. Now, hopefully, because my laptop's been acting up, I've got some videos that I just uploaded prior to this one uh, covering my header installation that I did on the truck, and uh, so far so good. Everything's great on that, but I've been working on the truck even more, and let me show you what I've got so far. Okay, you can see the cap is gone. Uh, actually, the cap is not gone. Sorry about the noise. I'm using my microphones on the camera. But there's the uh, cap out there, got it for sale. And uh, I pulled the tailgate off to make it a little bit easier to work on this truck. You can see where the bed liner used to be in here. And now that's sitting over there. I'm gonna get rid of that. It's uh, got a couple holes that have been cut into it for the fifth wheel rails. And that's those standing right there. I'm going to keep those and uh, sandblast them and have them powder coated uh, for future use because they're about $80 uh, if you can find them, uh, you know, online. They're like $100 at Walmart. Those will be nice to have around just in case I decide I want to go with a fifth wheel camper in the future. Now, one thing that I noticed with the fifth wheel rails, again, sorry about the wind noise, the holes and the wear that was going on there, I had to clean that up and I primered it with uh, some rust stop and then went ahead and hit it with gray primer just for the time being. I ordered a bed rug installation kit. It's about $30. And that's gonna allow me to take the bed rug out of my F-150 and put it in here, which I'll show you guys that whenever I, uh, whenever I start doing it or whenever I get it done. Show you what that's all about because you guys that may have pickups out there, man, I love that thing. And I've had it for years. Now, I also wanna tell you about this. I yanked off the hitch and uh, of course the spare tire uh, i'm going to go ahead and take care of the spare tire mount a little bit better and uh, remount it possibly but let me show you the hitch now for whatever reason i noticed that the reese hitches seem to be more expensive and they don't have the same weight ratings as the kurt brand hitches and that was true even when i did mine uh, on my f-150 the hitch that i bought for my f-150 was a kurt brand and i did a video on that maybe i'll put a link in here basically that kurt hitch that i bought for my f-150 was rated just a little bit higher than the reese and it was cheaper it was considerably cheaper and that's true now now let me show you the hitch that i took off the truck and I'll tell you why. Initially, this hitch was on the truck whenever I bought it and I thought, oh great, selling point, brand new hitch, that'll be nice. Then I started looking and it was the universal model. I don't care for that one as much, but if it did the job, I was no pro you know, I didn't have a problem with it. But then I started looking at the weight ratings. And with the weight distribution, that's what the WD stands for. Uh, this thing can tow 6,500 pounds. Without it, it can tow 5,000 pounds. Here's the problem. My camper, whenever it's fully loaded, is real close to that 6,500 pounds. I'm talking really loaded, though. And here's the other problem. What if I got a bigger camper and the camper weighed 8,000 pounds? This hitch won't do it. I'm not exactly sure why a guy would buy the hitch that wouldn't pull all that the truck could pull. But I guess he was just wanting to pull the trailer that he had, and that hitch was going to do it for him. However, the hitch was installed way incorrectly. I mean, unsafe incorrectly. It just, I'm so glad that we didn't try to pull anything with it. Uh, always be aware, whenever you get something, go over it like I did. Uh, I talked about going over everything on the truck from front to rear, and uh, on the rear, that was a problem. Now these are the hitches that I like, and this is a Kurt brand. Now I'll do an installation video on this later, at a later time, and I'll go over details of why this hitch is far better than the comparable Reese hitch. But that's in the future. I'll be uh, putting this on, and again, I'll be doing videos of that. In the meantime, I've got some stuff I need to do. Uh, one of them is pull the running boards off this truck, and uh, man, I've got to get my cap to the body shop and have them repaint it to match this truck so I can take care of all this before the snow's flying. I hate to be doing this in the middle of winter. Also, anybody out there that has a good handle on some used center caps for this type of an axle, uh, send me a message, uh, just in comments, whatever. 
because the caps from Ford are like $60 a piece. Uh, the repops, I heard that some of them are hit and miss as far as the way they stay on. I don't want to spend $50 for a pair of repop and see it go bouncing down the road. The other thing I'm going to have to do on this truck most likely is pull this hood shield off. Now initially whenever I got it, I mentioned to Heidi, maybe it's not a bad thing that this is on here. Uh, it might help deflect the air up and over the windshield where there's not going to be any stone chips. Even though I see there's a little stone chip on the windshield. As long as this wasn't going to be in my way, I was going to leave it on. Well, it was in my way the other day as far as when I lifted the hood after it rained a little bit. The water just ran in the engine compartment. I don't really like the way this is mounted. I've always, uh, in the past, the hood shields that I've had, I put them a little bit closer to the hood. And they used to make them that way, um, that had little rubber bumpers that kept it from touching the hood. And you just glued them onto the hood. They're just little adhesive things. They're not anything permanent. But this one stands off quite a bit. This might be coming off. Uh, I have to look to see what it looks like underneath there. I got some work to do also. I noticed that this mirror is so rusted, it doesn't want to move the way that it should. These things should fold away relatively easy. So definitely this side's going to have to come off and maybe get a new one. Uh, it's kind of hard to find these. These are what they call top mount L's. Uh, a lot of them that you find that are aftermarket, the brackets go down uh, and then the mirror mounts on it. Well, you lose that much height and uh, everybody wants the mirror a little bit taller like this. So I'm going to have to find me... Uh, a setup for this. So as you can see, I got a lot of work to do. I got to start thinking about that body shop. The problem is the body shop's going to want like $300 to paint that cap. Ugh, I have a hard time coming off that money. I mean, the cap was already on the truck, so if I could sell that cap out in the yard, maybe for a hundred bucks, that'd be nice because then I don't mind paying $200 to get my cap painted, but $300 kind of kind of tough. But I understand the body shop that we take it to, they do a good job and the guy is definitely uh, legit. He said that uh, the problem that he has is whenever the clear coats off of those caps, they just absorb paint. So it takes a few more coats and uh, of course the paint's what cost them money. Well, I'll go ahead and start working on this stuff and I'll come back whenever I got more to show you. Hey right, guys, so I've got some of the work done. I didn't get the hitch on the truck, but I think it looks better. What do you think? No running boards and no hood shield. It looked okay underneath there. There's a little bit of rust starting, but I don't like that hood shield. Um, it just looked wrong. But the running board's off. Oh, yeah, so much better. Uh, they couldn't even be used. Heidi, I thought, might use them because the truck is slightly taller than the F-150. However, she said her foot wouldn't even fit on there if you tried to step on it going in straight on. You had to turn your foot sideways. It was just in the way, so I'm glad they're off. So now what I got to do is get rid of these running boards and get the hitch on the truck. But I've got to do some Amazon work for uh, my income. <laughs> so I've got some stuff to do. I also have to get my computer fixed because there's something wrong with it. Uh, thank God my daughter, her fiance is going to college for that and is able to figure all that stuff out because I can't figure this one out. I can figure out some things, but it's messed up. Again, I'll do a uh, installation on the hitch and I'll come back with that. Thanks guys and hope to see you out there. Bye.